Hello! It's Ben again. It's been a long time, everybody, but I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing well. I have the day off today, so I thought I'd send out a video. I got a message from Brandon asking if I could demonstrate some stuff from the stick control on page 10 from George Lawrence Stone's Stick Control, the Drummer's Bible. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Gotta practice it. Um, but going through, it's all based on short roll combinations. So I went through uh, four different tempos, 144, 180, 200, and 220. Um, don't feel like you have to jump up there, start right at 220. It's definitely the wrong thing to do. Start slow, make sure you get everything relaxed under your hands, staying loose. Um, the biggest thing with this that I found that really helped me was working on consistent playing heights. Uh, I'm outside right now and there's a, just a massive squirrel that's jumping around, so he's, he's grabbing my attention, but I'll, I'll try and stay focused here. Um, but something that really helped me on this was if I'm thinking about consistent stick heights between the right and lefts, in between the eighth notes and then the sixteenth notes, so one and two and three e and a four e and a one and two and three e and a four e and a and not one and two and three e and a four e variations in between there. Keeping everything even, that's really going to get the muscle memory going in your hands and allow you to be more consistent, have even rhythmic approaches to the entire line, entire page, entire book. But um, check this out, start slow, stay relaxed, and Brandon, I hope this helps. Uh, feel free for any more questions or anything. I'm here, hopefully I can be a little more uh, quick on my responses, but I hope this helps, man, and uh, good luck.